What's going on guys? Thank you once again for checking out my YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing chest and biceps. As you guys are going to see, we start off first warming up the shoulders with some dumbbells, stretching out the rotator cuffs, making sure we get a nice proper warm up. First exercise we're going to run down with is going to be a incline bench. I like to start with inclines as, as you build the upper chest, it's just going to help you build the overall bigger look and appearance of your chest. So, as you guys are going to see, most of my exercises for chest are always incline presses, incline fly, any type of movement where you're targeting the upper chest. We're going to do three sets. Make sure to first get one or two sets of warm up before going into the first working set. We're going to do three sets of those. Then we're going to move into a slight incline dumbbell flight press. This is a mixture of a flight and a press together at the same time, making sure to get a nice deep stretch and squeezing the chest at the upper part of the movement. As you guys notice, we're going to slow tempo on the way down, holding it for two seconds, and then explode on the way up. This is more of lower reps, building nice volume into the chest. After this, we're going to move into an alternating dumbbell press. In here, we're going to move the bench a little bit higher, 45 degrees, as we start hitting the upper chest once again. We're going to do alternating one side at a time for this movement. We're going to superset this exercise straight into the dumbbell bicep curls. We're going to be alternating doing one side at a time, keeping, keeping pressure and squeezing the other bicep throughout the whole movement. We're going to perform three sets of this, 12 to 15 each side. After we do the, this two exercises, we're going to move into the next one. The next one is going to be, we're going to be doing the cable crossover. As you guys notice with the cable crossover, every rep, we're alternating the angle of the press. Once again, we're still targeting the upper chest. We're going to go from this movement directly into the high angle bicep curl. With the high angle bicep curl, hit the peak. Peak of the bicep, get a nice stretch on the way out, and then squeeze it and hold it as you bring it in. Three sets of 12 to 15. Always make sure to go up the weight and always keep the tempo high throughout the whole exercise. After this, we're gonna go into a lower flies as we start hitting the lower part of our chest to build an overall physique of the chest. Can't miss any part of the chest, so now we're gonna target the lower part. We're gonna do with this one, I like to go light, focusing on the squeeze at the top, and it's nice, slow, negative as you bring the handles all the way back. After this, we're gonna go straight into a super set with biceps. We're gonna go into a wide, low angle cable curls. We're still hitting the outside of a bicep, we're getting a different angle. We'll activate different muscle fibers during this exercise and get a bigger pump from it. Once again, we're gonna do three sets, 15 to 12, always increasing the weight and keeping the intensity high throughout the whole movement. Lastly, we're gonna go into a machine cable fly. With the machine cable fly, making sure to get a squeeze as you bring the handles into you, hold it for a second, bring it slowly all the way down, get a nice second hold, and then bring it back in. This is gonna be high volume, so we're going high rep for this one. Nice and slow, 20, 15, 12, working on that tempo and squeezing as you bring them in. From this one, we're gonna go straight into the cables for a bicep superset with a close grip. Now we're targeting more of the inner bicep. As we target the inner bicep, you want to focus on squeezing your bicep at the peak, squeeze them all the way at the top, and then slowly contract them when you're coming down. Once again, three sets, 12 to 15, increase the weight of doing after each set and keep the intensity high. Lastly, we're gonna move into doing the bicep curls with the rope. Once again, now we're still hitting the inside of the biceps with this exercise. As we target the, the inner biceps, once again, focus on squeezing at the top, and then slowly contracting on the way down and keeping tension on the bicep at all times. And the last exercise we're gonna do is incline dips. We're pretty much just doing your regular dips, but as you guys are gonna notice in this video, I'm getting a slight leaning forward. That way we're gonna isolate more of the chest when doing this exercise instead of using the triceps. So this is one of my favorite exercises to use at the end of your chest routine to get a nice overall pump and finish up with your good chest workout. Thank you guys once again for checking out my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe, click the link below, and keep watching.